Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let's learn. Today's video is a complete demo about how I work on gotranscript.com. Many of you guys asked me to make a full demo video about it and here we are. So without any further delay, let's get started. First of all, I will log in into my gotranscript account. Here I will look for a small file so that video will not be too long. This is a small file. Let's listen to preview. For that, there's also other scholarships. Okay, sounds good enough. Now I will download it. After downloading the file, I will go back to the previous tab and click on make my job so that other transcribers will no longer be able to take this audio file. Now I will open author.ai in a new tab and upload the downloaded audio file. When uploading is complete, the audio file will be automatically transcribed by author. After that, I will just edit the transcript according to go transcript guidelines and required format. The format of this file is clean verbatim without timestamp. We will keep this in mind while editing. I ask you to pay close attention and see how I edit the transcript. While editing, I will not be talking to avoid interference between two voices. Just pay attention to the screen and you will easily understand what I'm doing. So let's begin. When we visited a tech company, a tech company and I mean we were in Silicon Valley so that was just a unique experience and also when we visited the universities the universities I could see different types of campus and campus and well now I have a better idea of what I want to do for my future I can consider different kinds of universities that's and fantastic classes, uh, they not only help me uh, kinds of universities. That's and fantastic. And the classes, uh, they not only Uh, they not only help me uh, learn more for my application process and to improve my English, but now I'm to improve my English, but now I know how to do college assignments better and everything. That's fantastic. Well, congratulations on your English. as well because you did uh, you've done a great job and I'm
did uh, you've done a great job and I'm really happy to hear what a great experience you had in the Academy thank you for joining us uh, on the program I'm Larissa we're So we're grateful to have you. Larissa, we're grateful to have you. We're grateful to have you. Um, it is now time for us to answer questions from our friends on... questions from our friends on Facebook. Many viewers are asking about scholarships. How do students apply for scholarships uh, to the uh, Education USA Academy? Um, Jackie, can I ask you about that? Sure, yeah. So there's two types of scholarships. Uh, some of the institutions who have the Academy will offer their own scholarship. And I think the best way to really learn about that is to just ask, ask the institution Ask the institution, right? So um, when you reach out to them, ask them if they have scholarships, and they will step you through that process for how to apply for that. There's also other scholarships available, and I would say to really talk with your Education USA office and learn more about some other scholarships that might be available. That's a very good point that, that there is Education USA all around the world. Right. You have local. You have local experts who can talk to you about the academy. Yes. That, no, that's it. Thank you very much. Yes. That, no, that's it. Thank you very much. Our next question is from. Yes. Seth, no, that's it. Thank you very much. Our next question. Thank you very much. Our next question is from Arsene Katawa, who would like from Arsene Katawa, who would like. Sen Katawa, who would like to know what are the different requirements for a student to apply to the academy? Sally, can I ask you that? Sure. Um Um, so again, the age and the program is, um, the academy is for 15. Is, um, the academy is for 15 to 18 year olds, um, high school students. So those are to still be in high school um, and to be in that age. 
And then um, the English level requirement, that actually varies a little bit from, from academy to academy. And again, um, each of the academies it specifies what their requirements are for the English language requirements. And there aren't, there may be a few other specific requirements. aren't there may be a few other specific requirements from specific academies but it's a, an excitement and a, a, a desire to explore and also a little bit of a desire to be a little bit independent mm -hmm. so this program unlike some other programs is not one where you come with a group uh, for the most part you're coming on your own so that sense of adventure uh, that you will be well taken care of but it is a little bit of an adventure is is maybe helpful that's fantastic and that definitely links is is maybe helpful that's fantastic, and that definitely links to what Jackie was saying that you need to students need to look at each of the academies The students need to look at each of the academy programs and see what they offer because they can be a little bit different, okay. right? Yeah. And so the general thing is the same, but each what you what you're going to be doing specifically, where you'll be, what the what you're going to be doing specifically, where you'll be, what the program is focused on, maybe. Editing part is done. Now I will export it as a text file. Now I will open the file and copy it to a notepad for grammar check and formatting purposes. With the help of Grammarly extension, I will quickly remove the punctuation errors. I also have to remove the last line. Now I will make speaker tags bold followed by a colon and one space. This is what Go Transcript guideline says about speaker tags. You can also include speaker's name if you know all of them. Let me fast forward a little bit. Formatting done, let's open Go Transcript Editor. Copy the transcript and paste it on Go Transcript Editor. Here I will correct the inaudible tag by bringing playhead at 2 minute and then I will press Ctrl plus J which is a shortcut for time stamping. So it will time stamp at correct time. I have made one or two formatting mistakes. If you can spot, please let me know in the comment section. You may have some doubts about time stamping. Don't worry, I will make a separate video about that. Apart from time stamping, if you have any question or suggestion, please ask me in the comment section. I will definitely reply to every question as soon as possible. That's it for today. 
if you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe let's learn thanks for watching see you in the next video